If someone said to you, hey, have you played this game where you're playing a walking animal who has to save the world from an evil scientist who wants to use these magical artifacts that look like gems? The first thing that will come into your mind is Sonic the Hedgehog. But what if I told you that description also describes the Crash Bandicoot games? So that got me thinking, what if Crash was meant to be a parody of Sonic? If you look into the development of the original Crash game, the prototype was nicknamed the Sonic Ass Game. So the influence was there. And if you look at the Crash games from a 2D perspective, the gameplay does look similar to the classic Sonic games, just slower. So maybe it was intentional that Crash was more based on Sonic than he is on his intended rival, Mario. And that just might be the reason why I personally think that Crash is better than Sonic. Maybe it's because I've played more Crash games than Sonic games, but when you see the different genres and game styles that both characters have gone through, Crash does suit it better. I feel like I should explain the core gameplay mechanics for both characters. Sonic's typical gameplay is all about speed, running, dashing, jumping, and collecting as many rings as possible to keep Sonic's health high, and along the way finding one of the Chaos Emeralds to unlock the Super Sonic form. Crash's gameplay involves him running and jumping on boxes to collect the Wampa fruit to gain an extra life, while collecting Aku Aku masks to shield you from attacks, and collecting crystals and gems to, to unlock the next stage of the game or a secret ending. While Sonic is more simple, I like that Crash offers more to collect and in certain games sometimes even offer more to unlock. I have to give Sonic this, at least he does have a super form. Something Crash has yet to received. Moving on into the spin-off games, Sonic has offered average or just straight up bad games, and I personally think it's because the character of Sonic is lim limited to what he and his supporting cast can do. Crash, on the other hand, has mostly done racing games for spin-offs, but he has tried to do party games with mixed results. But due to the more chaotic and cartoony feel that the series presents, these spin-offs do feel more in style with the franchise, while some Sonic games kind of have an identity crisis at times. Speaking of identity, let's look at the characters themselves. Sonic is usually portrayed as a cool character, but the more rebellious, cocky, dude with an attitude type cool, who never shuts up, and personally I find that hard to see a character like that engaging. While Crash is a more laid-back, slacker type, cool character. He doesn't let his emotions get in the way most of the time and is usually shown saving the day because he wants to, not just to get the thrill from it like Sonic does. And it also helps that Crash is mute most of the time, leaving it to his facial expressions to know how he's feeling. And that's another thing I think Crash is better than Sonic. Every Crash game knows what it is. Even the mediocre games knows they're trying to be a Crash game. I don't try to be too serious, which is what some Sonic games are guilty of. I'm not saying Sonic is a bad franchise or that Sonic himself is a bad character. I have played some Sonic games, watched some of the cartoons and seen the films, and I have found enjoyment in them. I just personally prefer a more slow yet challenging game with a more lovable character, and if you're wondering who would win in a fight between the two, well, obviously Sonic will win. And I can admit to that. But we all know they both don't stand a chance against Tyler Tasmanian Tiger.